Imagine the swimming pools used at the Olympics. They each hold about 660,000 gallons of water. Now imagine 64 of those pools. Altogether, they'd hold 42 million gallons of water. That's the same amount of extra groundwater the 200 West Pump and Treat Facility will treat every year, thanks to a new efficiency in the treatment process. So everybody's here to, to improve the, the uh, process here, and so everybody's always looking for a better way to do things. During the Cold War, liquids contaminated with chemical and radioactive elements were discharged from plutonium production facilities, contaminating groundwater with chemicals and radioactive elements. The facility pumps contaminated water from the ground and removes contaminants through a combination of filters, biological processes, and other technology before injecting clean water back into the ground. The facility uses potable water, safe for drinking, and its treatment processes. That's a lot of water, about 80 gallons a minute, that displaces plant capacity for treating groundwater. Employees knew there had to be an alternative. So, engineers, pipe fitters, and instrument technicians work together to reconfigure pumps, piping, and valves to replace potable water with treated groundwater. So we did have some problems though um, with finding a pump and motor that would fit the same base. There was several uh, several back and forth with the, the vendor trying to find a horsepower rating that would work and getting an impeller uh, that would fit the same flow and pressure rating that we had seen. Um, that was the, really the hardest thing. But the team succeeded. Now instead of using potable water in its processes, the plant uses treated groundwater. At 80 additional gallons per minute, that is the equivalent of adding an injection well and treating an additional 42 million gallons of contaminated groundwater per year at the 200 West Pump and Treat facility. With this added efficiency, the facility will now be able to treat approximately 1 billion gallons of water a year. Being able to add an extra 80 to 100 gallons of water allows us to treat up the groundwater faster and, and uh, expedite the overall mission of the project. This efficiency will allow CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company and the Department of Energy to continue removing record amounts of contaminants and shrink the area of groundwater that is contaminated restoring groundwater to a level that protects public health and the environment. And avoiding the unnecessary use of potable water is another example of sustainability at a facility partially built out of recycled concrete and steel and specially designed to save energy. The facility achieved the Leadership for Energy and Environmental Design Gold Certification. That's an internationally recognized green building certification system that rates buildings on criteria such as energy savings, water efficiency, carbon dioxide emissions reduction, and indoor air quality. It, it really, really helped out the process. It was a big boost for this plant as far as capacity and what it can output in a year. So, yeah, it was kudos for everybody on that one.